I labored, belabored, I don't know the right word. I worked a long time this morning trying to figure out a title for my talk today. After an hour and a half, I thought, this is really not smart. <laughs> Don't title it. Because I couldn't, I started with, let's call it, breaking all the rules. Transcending the status quo. Speaking out will bring about harmony. Couldn't, couldn't put a, an exactness to it. This is actually Vivian, I'll start this way. Vivian and I were having a conversation not long ago and uh, she said, I've got something to tell you and you probably aren't going to like it because it's not a compliment. <laughs> I froze up, I stopped breathing, because I had assumed my entire life that I was very nearly perfect. <laughs> and she, she brought up the fact that I shied away from talking too much about the Bible or other theologies. And she's probably right, she doesn't miss a trick, but I do that for a personal reason, I think. I was very, very deeply conditioned uh, in the Christian faith. And I decided to transcend that conditioning several years ago. And I don't know if I stay away to protect myself from dropping back into traditional thinking, conditioning, or if I don't want to impose that on anyone here. I studied the Bible. This is Easter, and I think in Luke the Easter story ends up something like, on the third day he rose from the dead, ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, and hath life everlasting. What a wonderful way to tell a story that depicts the physical life and the spiritual life. And I think that's what Jesus came to us for, to let us know that we had other options. He was pretty much they called him a heretic there at the end. But he was pretty much a man that told people that they could step out past the conformity required by the Jewish faith by the Roman Empire. Who I, 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 I heard something the other day that, that surprised me. I guess I knew it, but it didn't, didn't all gel. History. There's so much going on in different parts of the world and, and whatnot, but the, that the people in Jerusalem were ruled by the Roman Empire who had recently been overthrown by the Greeks. So there was a lot of cultural difference going on and a lot of rules to follow. And this fellow Jesus broke a lot of the rules. He saw the injustice and inequity of conforming to somebody else's system, somebody else's rules. He pretty much had one rule, and that's to love one another. Don't judge, love one another. But he was a leader of the revolution and so they killed him like Gandhi like King I am so pleased today in our world we have free thinking going on especially right here in this room. That's why you're all here. 
You are all seeking ways to transcend the habits, transcend the status quo, to transcend the must shoulds and oughts of life. And think for yourself, make your own decisions based on what's good for you and good for the whole. And today in our world, we have these great things going on. In the last few months, the Women's March and the, the kids, the students. And the great thing about it is there's no one leader, no target. Bruce just spoke about this, this new age coming on, this change of, of consciousness. And masses of our population, masses of the people of the world, their consciousness is changing. And they aren't following one leader, living by one person's interpretation of some rule or some written book. All these wonderful books that have lasted for hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years, they contain a lot of wisdom. They contain a lot of ideas about right living and, and cohabitating in harmony. But they've got a lot of rules too and they're very exclusive. And I think it's up for us, up to us, each one of us to think about that. What fits? What works? Does this work out for the good of the whole? And when we stumble onto or discover that power of the divine, uh, when we feel ourselves in a connection with spirit, it changes our lives, it changes lives of people around us. I was having breakfast the other morning with a friend of mine. This friend and I, we've been down some bumpy roads together. And he was sharing an experience that he'd had that he saw some people and he just he just said, thank you for what you're doing. And they had a, a wonderful response to that. Wow, well, you're welcome. And he said he was almost brought to tears by that. That just, that smallest little thing not only made a difference in those people's lives, but it made a difference in his life. He became aware just how closely he was in touch with his spiritual dimension, with his core. This is springtime. There's joy and happiness and hope and peace all around us if we choose to see it, if we choose to be aware of it. But if we're stuck in some habitual lifestyle, if we're following somebody else's rules that weren't designed for us, we might just miss it. This is the beginning of a whole new season of birth and growth and blooming, expansion. Let that spiritual reawakening, that spiritual springtime, let it out. Don't block it in. As you have these experiences of free thinking, Uncovering one more little onion skin of the mystery of life. You will find a thing called freedom. To 
and ex exquisite. It wasn't given to you by anyone. You already have it. You just discover it. Each one of us has the opportunity, even the privilege, of interacting with other human beings, with nature, every single day of our lives. And we can create what type of an experience that's going to be. We have that power. We have that strength. We have that courage. And we even have that humility. When we step aside, step out of, transcend all of the rules that somebody created, we find a freedom. I don't think there's anybody that's really wrong about things so much. The, us human beings, we've been trying to figure out this, this magic formula for cohabitating as a society. What's the right way? What, what makes it work? How do we achieve the harmony? And then we get other things that interact upon that. And all of a sudden we have all these rules, supposedly to work out well. But most of the time, in centuries gone by, it hasn't. But we're in a new age now. We're in a new time of consciousness. We're in a new time of awareness. And each one of us, whether we're aware of it or not, creates by the minute the consciousness of this universe. You are free. You don't have to be tethered by anything. You have the, you have the power and the ability to think freely to ponder. I love that word, ponder. And I got it from the Bible. <laughs> from the Christmas story. And Mary kept all these things in her heart and pondered them. Ponder your freedom. Ponder all of the gifts you've received in your life, all the experiences all the pain, all the joy, all the suffering, all the celebration. They've allowed you to be this unique, loving, caring, aware person that you are. And you have the privilege to share that. And the abundance that you carry with you and in you and around you it's infinite. And for those of you who don't know the big words, that means unlimited. So let's stand up and say, I am free, I am unlimited. And happy Easter.